So boys and girls, this show tells you how not to treat your brothers and your sisters. I've got a story about a heifer who could not only talk and say moo, but could even talk after it was dead. Well, come on, what, what are we getting? You two are getting horses. They're getting nice horses. What's that? A heifer. Uh, all right. Well, Ma, how come we're having to get out of here first thing tomorrow morning? Because you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Two, three, bang! And they wallop that old heifer in the head and kill the heifer. First thing, of course, he did was he cut the skin off of that heifer. And then he took it and uh, he dried it out on the side of the barn. So after a while, all that was left was the heifer hide. It started getting so big, he took his pants off. Take off the pan, Jack. And he kept on eating that beef. Mm, it was so good. It was so tender. Yes, it was. But he kept on eating that beef. And getting bigger all the time. How's that, Jack? That's my rope roast. I got to go make my fortune. So I'm going to take this here heifer hide and I'm going to get me some gold. Oh, look at that. It's a little of crow. Let's put it inside with the corn shucks here, and uh, we'll nurse it. We'll get it something to eat. Go. Oh, oh. Well, they finally got to this other cabin oh, now. Well, I guess I could put you up upstairs. Oh, you could. But I'd have to walk. He's through. looking down, and he saw the whole thing. Well, look at that. Those people seem awful happy. They seem like they're awful glad to see each other. They seem to love to be eaten together. They must not be happy. And it turned oh. out that it was the, Whoa. the woman's husband. Get out of here. I'm wet. My overalls are shrinking. I'm he was feet are blue. button all day, so she had to hide everything. Woman. She hid the stew. She hid the, the apple jack stack cake. She hid the bread. She looked around, and everything was tucked away, including the preacher. He was down inside the toilet. What took you so long? He came up with an idea. He pulled on that heifer hide and it disturbed that bird inside, and that bird said, Oh, oh! oh, oh. Be quiet now. What's that ever hide saying? What's that ever hide saying? What's it saying? Uh, well, it's saying, Oh, oh, did you hear it? What this ever hide said was that there was a, a jug of real good moonshine over yonder on oh, the table. What? You had moonshine from me? So she didn't want to, but she went over and she got that jug of moonshine from me. Oh, didn't I tell you to be quiet? Now don't you say another word. This heifer hide said that uh, there was some good beef stew in the kitchen. Uh, what? Woman? What? Where's this beef stew? Golly, I knew I shouldn't have brought you down them stairs. I knew it was a mistake. You just will not be quiet. You are the blabberous mouth. Heifer hide I've ever seen in my life. Now you hush your mouth. Don't you say another word. Don't you say another word. I, I told you to be quiet. You got to be quiet. I am. <laughs> oh, well, I am. Oh, that's awful good stuff. Sir, you sell yeah. that heifer hide. Sell this heifer hide. Sell this heifer hide. Sell this heifer hide. Oh, I couldn't sell this good old heifer hide. I don't think you understand. I understand. Take my hundred dollars. Or you're not leaving. Oh, well, you know, I love this half ride, but I, I love uh, having my belly all in one piece, too. So you just hush your mouth, old pepper hide. <laughs> be quiet, I tell you, be quiet. Oh, what is he saying now? Oh, I can't that is tell that you. something in this trunk. In the trunk? Something is in the trunk. Right here, there is something in that trunk. Now, there's a devil in that trunk. A devil? A devil right a there devil. in that trunk. A devil right there in that trunk. Let's see if we can hear something now. Oh my God, see that? I told you there's a devil in that trunk. Careful, little Jake, you're gonna fall down and bust your belly open. I got $100, I'll pay you to take you out. Yeah. Oh, Jack. Stranded in that sack, couldn't get out, and any minute now, his sisters was gonna come back and throw him into the river and drown him. Um, I'm in this sack because any minute now, the angels are gonna come, and they're gonna take this sack, and they're gonna chunk it up in the heaven. Well, I'm so old. I thought I took your place. Take my place? Oh, no. 97 years old. That's pretty old, all right. I got arthritis and never joined. You got arthritis, do you? Oh, my God. Oh, and look at your feet. Boy, those are the weirdest looking feet I've ever seen. You got troubles, ain't you? I've never seen blue feet before. You were willing to give me a whole block. 
Boy, you are really dying to go to heaven, ain't you? He threw that sack into the river. And they were so happy about Jack being gone. And of course, the old man was just a kicking and trying to get out of that sack. <laughs> That's where I got these sheep. See how wet they are? I got them out of the river. Oh, it's in the river. oh you want some sheep too? Put some of those rocks in your pockets. Because if you have a lot of rocks in your pockets, that'll make you sink deeper. And there's even more sheep way One, deep down. Two. Three. So Jack went on home and had himself a hundred sheep. He had in that house all to himself, and he had a bag with $300 worth of gold. Jack and the Heifer Hide, everybody in the show, come on up and take a bow. And thank you for not raining on us any more than you did. We appreciate that too.